Hi, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another episode of The Bottle Off. This time we are comparing Goo against Honey Stinger. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. And now is when I actually talk to you about, please subscribe. Give this video a huge thumbs up and share with your friends if you feel they can benefit from watching this video. This is my series in which I compare two products of the same kind. This time we're going to talk about gels and the two brands that I chose for this comparison is Goo and Honey Stinger. These are two of the major brands used by runners. They're two of the most affordable and I recently used both to fuel my treadmill marathon that I ran last weekend. I have never used Honey Stinger. I've used Goo plenty of times. I am very familiar with this brand. I really like it, but we'll see who actually won. Now that I have a practical test of both brands in a time trial, in an extensive time trial, I should say, let's dive right in. The way that I tested both of these, um, and I try to make it so that I was not picking for the one that I was would have been tempted to pick, is I just chose six of them, and I put them back to back like this, in a little box next to my treadmill, and as I was running, I would just grab one of them when I felt like I needed the gel. Initially, I was going to do one every 45 minutes. However, for some reason, I found it hard to um, just suck a whole thing right in, which has never been an issue in a race before. But for what it's worth, on the treadmill at this one time, I just found it very hard to just chug the whole thing. So the intention of these gels though, both Honey Stinger and Goo, is to just rip them right here and just take them. Now, this time, because it was not chugging them all together, I found that just sucking a little bit and then keep on eating from the package later on gave me a more um, sustained energy. So I don't know if this is something you can do in a race. Again, this was very practical because I just had the box next to me easily accessible. I also have water readily accessible. So both gels have 100 calories. Some other kinds of gels have 120, 130. There's even some with like 150 calories. 100 calories seems to be the standard amount of calories, but you can find other gels out there with more calories than these two. Let's talk about packaging first. So this is bigger than this one, but this one is thinner than this one. I mentioned this because I, I as, as a runner myself, I tend to get picky with how I place my <laughs> fuel when I'm on a race. So if that matters to you, if that's one of the deciding factors like it would be for me, one or the other could actually end up being an issue for you. But in terms of packaging, both of them tear really easily. You just have to grab it like that right there and just tear it. They tear easily. You discard this part and then you just basically eat it. This one, same thing. However, the consistency of both is different. This one is a lot thicker and it's more like you would picture caramel, that consistency, it's kind of thick. This one is a lot more liquidy. So that's a personal preference. Um, I have no issue with either one in terms of stomach distress, but some people have issues with goo I've heard because of the thickness. It's almost like you could chew it in a way. Not quite, but it's it's a lot thicker in consistency than this one. This one, I would compare it more to like, you know those syrups that are um, sugar-free? They're less thick than the ones, the real ones, the maple syrup. So this would be that, that kind, like thinner, just so you have a frame of reference. Now let's talk ingredients. This is organic, goo is not organic. So if that's something that matters to you, obviously Honey Stinger will be better than Goo because this one too. This one provides 50 milligrams of sodium. This one provides 55, so it's a little bit more. On the contrary though, this one provides 24 grams of carbohydrates and this one only provides 23. It's a gram of difference. That 
I don't know for the average runner if that would be a difference. If you are a more professional advanced runner, that could actually, that gram of difference could impact your performance in a race. One thing that I do appreciate in Goo is that it lists the amount of amino acids in each serving. This one does not list it anywhere. Now, a major, major, major difference for me is that Honey Stinger does not have caffeine. Goose, the vast majority of the different flavors have caffeine. I believe currently the only one that does not have caffeine is the strawberry banana. This one is no caffeine, but I believe all the other flavors have different, you know, amounts of caffeine. In terms of flavors, um, to me, this is such a personal, personal preference. So I have tried most goo flavors and I have tried three honey stinger flavors. So I've tried mango orange. I have tried strawberry kiwi and I tried acai pomegranate. Now, this is something that I was, as so I was doing research for this, video, I found that this one doesn't, it's acai pomegranate, but it doesn't list acai as one of the ingredients. So I wish they had done better, a better job on the packaging explaining how this is acai because, and you know what, now that I'm reading about it, it's just not acai. I don't know why they call it acai pomegranate. Because acai is a berry and I don't see any berries here. Honey Stinger, you're gonna have to explain this. I just don't know how this could be acai when there's no acai berries in, in it. So this one has tapioca syrup, honey, water, potassium citrate, natural flavors, citric acid, and salt. I don't know. Now, as it turns out, when I was running, this is the one that I like the best. From the three flavors that I tried on my marathon last weekend, this is the one that really gave me a boost. I don't know why it felt, um, it just felt like more salty. I don't know, it just gave me a boost. This was the last one I had at the end of my marathon. I was like dying, you know, like by mile 2021, 20, I was like entirely depleted of energy. So this one actually gave me a little boost. And the way that I did it is that it was kind of blind. I just grabbed them from the box. So I didn't know what I was trying until after the facts. So that's the way that I kind of controlled my test. So it was kind of blind in a way. So this other one has a really strange aftertaste to me. I, again, when I tried it, it's just, it's, the consistency is very sticky and it's, even though it's sort of thinner than the goo, but this is very sticky and it just gets stuck. I don't know, this to me, this was the weird, the weirdest one. This one I really enjoyed, but of the three, the acai pomegranate was my favorite. And then in goo, I have tried these different flavors, which are the most difficult flavors I would say for goo. I tend to leave this one for last in a race just because it has caffeine and at that point i've consumed so much caffeine that you know <laughs> i really not, don't want to be so hyper at the end of a race so i want to have enough energy but i don't want to be like super super <gasps> so this is the one that i usually choose at the end as my last gel on a race um but i like the flavor of this one i like the flavor of this one love this one. This I could just have as a snack, to be honest with you. If it wasn't because this thing is like a dollar twenty, but <laughs> I mean, there, there are better options for snacks. But this is just like caramel, like the caramel you put on. I'm from Spain and we eat a ton of flan. So it's like the caramel that you put on top of a flan. Oh my God, this is so, so good. Like the consistency, the flavor. Again, I am pretty addicted to this one. Now, if I had to choose in between this one and this one, I think this one would still win because this one has that, I don't know, like candy feeling to it that this one doesn't have, but that's just me. So in terms of who wins the bottle of the gels, um, in my opinion, which I'm not an expert, I'm just, you know, I always say this, guys, disclaimer, 
This is a an experiment of one. Which one is better? So if I had to use them again on a marathon, I think I would alternate them just because marathons are long. For some of us, they're longer than for others. And I think I appreciate the, the change in texture. Um, so I think I would just use both of them. Which one is better? I think if I had to use just the regular ones, these ones, I would not gravitate towards Honey's Finger, no matter them being organic and all that. Now, if you gave me a say, acai pomegranate, I would probably use this, just this one, and then just get it loose. In terms of pricing, they're very similar depending on which, where you buy them, they're similar in price. Goose tend to be a little bit cheaper than Honey's Finger. So now I got a box combined with both of them and I went to uh, the, vitamin, the vitamin shop, the local one next to me, and I think they just wanted to get rid of them. So um, they offered me like a discount, like the manager, the store manager came out and gave me a discount on the whole box. So they just put them in a goo box, but you know, they, they mix them up. So I just kind of grab different flavors. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I hope this helped you decide which gel to use. Let me know in the comments down below which gel you use, which one is your favorite. And let me know in the comments below which other products you would like me to try for you and do a video. As always guys, and fearless. Ciao. Yeah.